Good day, everyone. I'd just like to take you through the steps in navigating my Wikispace site, Ghanaian Girls Grow Globally. <clears throat> this is a Teacher for Global Classrooms capstone project that I have used in professional development workshops, um, sharing with professional peers. Um, so I have used it in the classroom and it was developed for the classroom. First of all, the navigation is on the right hand side and it shows up on every page. Um, when you go to the site, it opens up on the home page. Um, hopefully, yes. So next, the unit is then introduced about what you can do with this site and how to define terms when considering global education. So this uh, is just as easy as a click on the right hand side in the table of contents. So to the next area, um, what is a digital learning environment? Um, from this uh, class that we're taking, I have learned so many um, technological advances and things that I can use in my classroom and in the professional development when I'm conducting a professional development workshop or seminar. So here we have um, what is available to me at my specific school um, and how I looked at that and how I incorporate that in using my, uh, in, in use in my classroom. Um, so here is uploaded uh, standards that correspond with global education for the English language arts classroom. Since this wiki is a living and breathing wiki, um, seemingly uh, it, it probably is appropriate now to also add the ISTE standards as well. Um, so one can download uh, these uh, PDF files, Adobe files, or you can just download them to show on the screen or for printing. Um, next, we have uh, international project-based learning opportunities. So many different websites um, that are linked here um, for you, hyperlinked for you to go on um, to give you just a plethora of, of websites that one can use when considering turning their classroom into a global education class. Um, in Philadelphia, because I talked to Philadelphians and people in New Jersey, which is very close to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, um, they want to know what's available to them to support them in their teaching in and around uh, the local area. So here I have listed for them all of the centers, um, the colleges and universities, and some of the nonprofit organizations that are more than willing to help one um, change their classroom. The Global Education Checklist. Uh, you can look at your own classroom and your own teaching, your own pedagogy, and determine whether or not um, you're ready, or if in fact you need to be um, global in your strategies in your classroom. I know that when we talk about teaching now, we say that we are preparing young people for to be competitive in a global economy, a global market. But how true is that when we actually sit back 
and take inventory of what it is we're doing with our students. Um, so I talk a lot about that with professionals in seminars and workshops when I'm teaching about global education and in using this wiki in order to do it. Now, as a part of the requirement for the program that I was in, the professional development program through the U.S. Department of State and IREX, U.S. Department of State Educational and Cultural Affairs, um, we were asked to provide guiding questions um, and an essential question for our international travel. So here is what I did at some later point. You can peruse this if you'd like. Um, then here we were in Ghana. So this is a hot link to several blogs and um, several blogs of the peers that went, went with me to Ghana. There were 11 of us or 12, I believe. So this link will, will just take you directly to all of their blogs and websites. The unit um, that I designed is here. Um, so if you are interested in using uh, film in your classroom and you want the standards and you want step-by-step um, uh, -step lesson plans done in narrative form, you have it right here. All you have to do is upload the PDF. And as we talked about early on, or I think Dr. Moody did, um, the, the copyright is, um, is CC copyright, which is the, um, let me get my eyeglasses here, the Creative Commons copyright. So anything here, you are more than welcome to use. Anything on here you're welcome to use. Um, down here at the bottom, how to use this curriculum unit guide. Um, since people uh, don't necessarily just go on to a wiki, I have explicit instructions how to use this site. Very simple, very simple. But one thing I do know, it, it is not a hot site at all. Um, it, it, it is here, um, it is working, um, but it, it's not, you know, a hot ticket item site, but it can be if, in fact, you use it and share it with your professional friends. There are some, as stated, some additional resources that are available because after going to Ghana and working with people, there was so much more that we could do. We did a fundraiser um, uh, and worked in collaboration with uh, the Respect Alliance for Education Initiatives, um, who they uh, were 501c3, so all donations went through there, was cleared through them in order for us to send barrels of books to a school in Ghana um, to support their library that was almost none. Ironically, and I need to say this out loud, ironically, um, our students uh, no longer have a librarian in our own school, but we do have a library. And while in Ghana, they had a librarian, but really didn't have any books. But our situation in Philadelphia changed this year. Um, and as we continue to have relationships with um, uh, people in Ghana, we have added our video clip um, of what we're doing right now. So you are welcome to join us at any time and join this wiki space. If you send me an invite, I'd be more than happy. And you can just search, Google search, Ghanaian Girls Grow Globally, and you'll get us. Thank you.
and have a wonderful day.